Hi right, everybody, welcome into Labor Day 2009, the Parker and the Man page. I'm Mark Wilson with your webcam. It's kind of a quiet Monday, I can sense it already, very quiet out there. A little bit fuzzy, but getting better. A little cloudy, but getting better. And I'm just about to head back out, got the tuxedo on. Uh, I don't have the ties on yet, I'll share those in a minute. Uh, to return to the Jerry Lewis MDA Labor Day Telethon at uh, MyTV20. We're actually doing it from the studios at WTBS, which is... Uh, off Grand River, just west of Wixom, and you'll be a part of that too. You can see how if you watch it today. Uh, but I'll be hosting this morning into the afternoon. Uh, we're doing very well already after last night. Thank you very much. Uh, Jerry Lewis did a great job in night number one. Uh, Jerry looks uh, terrific, uh, going on 84 years old, and still has that passion for MDA, as you know he would, as we all do, who've been around the telephone for some time. The two tie choices today that you'll see, uh, this is inside stuff, man. This is exclusive material. <laughs> Uh, we're going with the terracotta. Hmm, not bad, right? Colorful. That's what we like on the telephone is color. It's a good day on the telephone. It's a good day for Jerry's kids. We always say about the telephone because that's when we raise money for those great people. And also I'm going with a little gold, a little marigold, right? Match the wall behind me there. So those are your two tight choices you will see today on the telephone. Just uh, giving you a little inside. Um, so uh, make a donation, any of the numbers on your screen, or at mda.org. You can do that anytime online. Uh, the Parker and the Man page features a little something on the Tigers uh, from uh, Sunday, a little October feel to that game with Brandon Inch hitting the Grand Slam. Just a little sniff in the air of October. Uh, the Tigers getting a little closer to their first divisional championship in 22 years, 1987 the last time. Uh, seven game lead as they head this week uh, over the Minnesota Twins, eight up on the White Sox, although it seems like the White Sox are further behind. So read about that on the Parker and the Man page. Also, the Lions set their roster. Uh, they've got uh, 53 guys, uh, not really any big surprises. They cut Kevin O'Connell, the quarterback they got from the Patriots. means that Stafford, Culpepper, and Stanton are the big three. We don't know who's going to start the game against New Orleans. It looks like it could be Stafford because of the injury to Culpepper. I would almost bet now it would be Stafford because I don't know if Dante's better or not. We'll find out as the week goes along. I think he'd rather have Culpepper start. Uh, the Michigan State and Michigan wins over the course of the weekend. We'll get to that as well, um, although not much because, sorry, Michigan people, you beat Western Michigan. Remember the days when you didn't even like playing Western Michigan? Now you're excited about a win over the Broncos. And Michigan State, Montana State, enough said. Kim Cloisters Cloisters, uh, her match went over Venus to get to the quarterfinals of the U.S. Open Tennis Championships. She would be just the, if she wins, just the third mother to win a Grand Slam singles title in the Open Era. Uh, Margaret Court and Yvonne Goolagong. Yvonne Goolagong, Collie. I love the name Goolagong, were the other two. And Sean Merriman charged with uh, battery and uh, false imprisonment of his girlfriend, reality TV star Tila Tequila. And I have to put my hand up. I'm one of those guys that used to watch the Tila Tequila reality show. And Sean Merriman is a guy the Lions could have had in 2005. They picked Mike Williams instead of Sean Merriman. And now, you know what? Merriman seems like a real pain in the neck. Uh, if he did this, uh, he's got other issues, as I mentioned, in the column. So check it out. Labor Day column 2009, the Parker and the Man page, uh, all about uh, the stuff uh, with the Tigers yesterday in Tampa and the great win uh, on the Brandon Inch Grand Slam. The Lions roster um, is what it is. It still looks like a last-place roster to me, but Jim Schwartz is uh, getting there. He's gotten rid of a lot of the dead weight, and, uh, you know, you can't blame him for 0-16. He just got here. So check that all out, and again, Give what you can on the MDA Telethon. I'll be hosting all morning long and into the afternoon. The Pertons will be along later in the day. Greg Russell will be back as well. And just some great people that you will meet as part of the Muscular Dystrophy Association. And on this 70th anniversary of Lou Gehrig's diagnosis, the great Yankee Iron Man. So it's all there for you on the Parking Demand page, yournews.com, as we celebrate another holiday. The last one of the summer, and it's a great way to go out with the Muscular Dystrophy Association Telethon. Give what you can. My TV 20 this morning and in the afternoon. Thanks, man. As always, thank you, Detroit. I always want to say that.